friends. Welcome back to Llama Mama Kayla's Yarn Tube. Thanks for joining me today here in the yarn room. I appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me. And I'm so excited that I'm able to be here with you and hang out today. I hope you're all having a great day and just enjoying your day. No matter what you are doing, I hope it's a good day for you. So I wanted to just say real quick that in the description box below this video there was lots of links I'm gonna leave several links um, I mean there are lots of links there and I'm going to leave some links today pertaining to today's video also so be sure to check out the links in the description box it helps you find us other places online and just other videos that might interest you and things like that so anyway guys I have a lot to say <laughs> Um, okay, so I am affiliate with Premier Yarn. I love Premier Yarn. I just am in love with that yarn. Seriously, even if I wasn't affiliate with it, like, I'm in love with it, okay? I was before, and I am still. Um, um, Premier Yarn put out a little challenge to their affiliates, and I'm all about a good challenge, okay? Okay. Okay, so there's two parts of this. There is a little challenge, and then there's a little competition. I'm not in it for the competition because, let me just tell you, um, in this great big yarn community that we are in, and with the affiliates for Premier Yarn and all that, um, I am a little bitty tiny piece of yarn, okay? I'm a little bitty tiny piece of yarn in a great big <laughs> world of yarn, all right? So I'm not trying to compete and be in that competition type thing, um, but I'm all about the challenge, all right? So I love that, and I'll tell you more about that in just a minute, because um, I've I've done this type of challenge for myself before in the past. So, Premier Yarn has came out with this Just Yarn. This is a big old skater yarn, and I'm going to open this up so we can talk about this yarn. It is a nice yarn, and oh, this one feels softer than the ones I've had. This one feels really soft, like I wasn't expecting that right off the bat. You know, sometimes different dye lots just create different softness in yarns and right away when I pulled this out I could tell it was like really soft on my hands okay so this is a premier just yarn value yarn it is 875 yards okay now you've seen me use these big old balls in different projects before and this yarn goes a long way it really does on Premier's website, they are selling this yarn for six dollars and ninety-nine cents for eight hundred and seventy-five yards. Now I have done videos where I compared it with some other big skein yarns up there that were twelve ninety-nine and some prices around that area. <laughs> nine nine to twelve ninety-nine dollars. Um, this has the most yards in it. For $6.99 okay this has more yards in it than those that I compared it with before so anyway so the challenge is to see what you can make with this one ball of yarn how much of something you can make how many of something you can make like how far can you make this ball of yarn go and I chose the color magenta. Um, I just thought it was a pretty color. And it was one that I hadn't ordered yet from Premier Yarns. And so I chose magenta and got it. So um, I am thinking for to challenge myself to see how many amigurumis I can make with this. Now I'm not talking about big, huge, octopus size amigurumis. I'm just talking about small size amigurumis like you would might would make up for a craft fair or something like that so i'm going to challenge myself to see just how many i can make how far can i make this yarn go so throughout the month i will be coming back and telling you 
look what I made. <laughs> look what I made. <laughs> and then at the end of the month, we'll have everything together and go over how many I did make. So I want to ask you guys to take a guess in the comments below how many small size amigurumis do you think I can make with this yarn? Okay, I have done this before. I took a skein of yarn. I think it was the Barcelona yarn that I had got at Michael's. It was a loops and thread Barcelona. And I'm going to link that video in the description box below. But I had that yarn and I challenged myself to see how many items I could make with that. And um, I had so much fun doing that because at the very end, I was playing yarn chicken and I had to even pull out on my very last project and redo the legs on something to make it a little bit different to make my yarn go all the way so it was fun to see and um, you guys guessed and that was fun to see you know y'all's guesses versus what actually did happen you know so take a guess down below how many smallish i'm not talking like tiny but i'm not talking big i'm talking just you know smallish amigurumis that you might would take to a craft fair to put on a table um if you were doing it like a craft market is what i'm trying to say i lost my train of thought there anyway let me know how many you think i'm gonna make <laughs> i'm excited about this um yeah, I am excited about it. So, also, I want to invite you guys to join along. Why don't you hop down in the description box, click on my premiere link that's going to be right at the top, order yourself a big old skein of just uh, yarn in any color you want, and challenge yourself to see how much you can make. Now, you could do a wearable. You could do, you know little amigurumis you could do a wearable you could do granny squares and make something just whatever you want to do but if you want to challenge yourself go right ahead and you can post pictures in the mama llama kayla and big daddy facebook group so we can all see you know how far your big just value yarn is going that would be fun to do um and see who can you know use up the most of their yarn that's the deal you got to use up as much of this yarn as you can now, I did inquire um, that I want to make amigurumis, but some amigurumis are going to look really odd if you don't add another little bit of a color in there with them. So, I did get permission that I can use small, small amounts of another Premier Yarn color with it, but most of the project has to be of my main color, and this is my main color. For this month, I mean, I'm going to be doing other videos and other projects, of course, too. But this is what I am um, trying to do this month is use up this 875 yards. <laughs> Some people will probably make a wearable or a blanket or something and be able to use that up pretty quickly. But I think um, doing amigurumis, I don't know, because you just never know how much yarn the amigurumi is going to take. And so... It's a little bit iffy, a little bit scary, but a whole lot of fun, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I would really love for you guys to join in and post pictures um, on the Facebook group if you decide to take this challenge for yourself and see what you can make using up most of this um, skein of yarn, you know? So you, you can hop over there. In the description box below click on that link and order whatever color you want of this and yeah we'll just um, check out everybody's pictures and see what you make too so guys that's what I'm doing <laughs> and there is a little competition going on I guess they said between the premier affiliates um, but I'm not really like concerned about that little part of it because I'm just a little bitty fry okay i'm a little shrimp out here <laughs> i'm a little shrimp and i'm not i'm not like really competing with anybody i'm taking this challenge upon myself like what can i do and so it'll be fun yeah it will be i am drinking some 
iced tea because let me just tell you, it is hot in Louisiana. It's hot everywhere, I'm sure. <laughs> Unless you're on the other side where you're in winter right now, you're probably hot. And so I am enjoying some iced tea. I'll tell you what, I'm just burning up from the inside. <laughs> I'm just burning up from the inside. So iced tea it is for me or ice water and, you know, no, no hot tea or coffee for me today. <laughs> well, guys, let me know. How many uh, how many smallish amigurumis you think I can make? Let me know if you're going to take the challenge yourself and what color are you going to get. And then I'll be looking for your post in the Facebook group. So yeah, so much fun. Yes. Okay, check out the links in the description box because I'm going to link a video where I challenged myself. Um, the same challenge before with a lot smaller <laughs> skein of yarn. And uh, I don't remember how many skeins were in that yarn. And I don't see that particular yarn here in my room right now. I don't, I don't guess I have that yarn anymore. Um, but anyway, I would pull it out and show you. I wanted to see how many yards was in that skein, but I don't see any more. It would be over there because it was a bulky yarn, I believe. It was, it was a number five weight yarn, if, I'm not, if I remember correctly. I will probably be using a four or five millimeter hook with this. Um, most likely I'm going to try to use a four millimeter hook with my projects. Now that I have a four millimeter hook that I can use comfortably, that's probably what I'm going to do. So, yes, I'm excited. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you all get going, but... I'm going to be looking for your comments below because I want to see your guesses and I want to know if you're joining in on the fun. <laughs> Bye, friends. Remember, it is a beautiful day to crochet. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.